here with Margaret Ann, who is making, we are making country co country cobbler. You said country yes. fruit cobbler. Co country fruit cobbler. Better known just as a cobbler. You know. And it, she has one baking in my oven, and it smells amazing right now. I am kind of like, it smells so stinking good. It's delicious. I want to make sure everything's working right. I feel like, oh yeah, here, I see a few folks are working, oh, popping yeah. on. Put it, give us a heart or a like if you're over there. If you would like her biscuits and gravy recipe, which is amazing, and my kids are absolutely, they love them. If you'd like her biscuits and gravy recipe, just click the link and it's going to take you right to that recipe. So if you look at the thing, there should be something. Oh, we see some hearts and likes. Y'all oh, tell us. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yes. Tell us where y'all are from this morning. Tell us where you're at and tell us what you're having maybe for dinner tonight. Yeah, all right. And I want to add another request. If you make the cobbler, let us know. Yes. It just does, oh, it does its heart good, you know, just to know that somebody yes. did it. And we've had comments of people with biscuits that they've made them and they've been happy about it. So let us know. And even know? if you can take a picture, if y'all will take a picture oh, of yeah. your cobbler, we would love that because we love seeing what y'all are making. I see some, let's see, we've got, Andrea, you said you're starving now. We'll just wait oh, yeah. till she shows you. She's also going to teach us something that I did not know at all about strawberries. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. She's going to teach us a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to flip this around so y'all can see. Oh, there's, Stacy is in Georgia. Where were you? Were oh, in Rome, Georgia. Rome, Georgia. Yeah, so, Stacy. Okay, I'm going to turn this around so she can start showing us what to do. But go have okay. it. Okay. All right. Well, we had, we told you we were doing peach cobbler, so I have to correct that just a little bit because where we are now, you just don't go in and buy even frozen peaches. I went to three different grocery stores, nationwide type grocery stores, and none of them had frozen sliced peaches. I mean, I had sense enough, no, you can't buy peaches this time of year, but I was hoping for cobbler. So what I did, just to, to let you know, is I decided we would make fresh strawberry cobbler. And I would use canned peaches to let you know that even if it's not the season, even if you don't have what you need, you can make do. And so in the oven now, we have peach cobbler made with canned peaches. And we hopefully will have it done in time that you can see it and see Lauren eat it. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> it so good. All right. So we're going to do the strawberries now. And one thing I want to be sure to talk to you about is when you buy stra fresh strawberries. Now, these are not, but my favorite brand is Driscoll. They come from California, and they usually are sweeter than some of the others. They're also larger than some of the others. So the first thing we want to do is to wash these berries. Okay, I'm going to pop this and, around so we can. Okay. okay. And the reason I tell you that, and this is what uh, Lori was saying, that she did not, you ne never, ever wash strawberries uh, uh, without the green on them. And the reason for that is that if you put water over them and you've already taken the stem off, then all that water saturates itself into the strawberry and dilutes the flavor. So what you need to do is to put it in a colander and uh, just simply run some cold water over it. Maybe pick them up just to be sure everybody gets their fair share of water. Okay. And it's an ounce a little bit. And then we're going to go over and take the stem off, okay? okay? All right, and to do this, I highly suggest that you use your teaspoon. Okay. Okay? Because your teaspoon is the best thing to actually take the hull off. So, for just to put it here, I'm one to not have to go everywhere <laughs> all over the kitchen, but we have now hauled the strawberry. This goes very fast. You don't have to worry about it. And all we do is just take it out and put them in a bowl. And then after we get the bowl done with our strawberries, we are looking for, for this recipe, about two, two and a half, I'm not gonna use that one because it's too white. Uh, two and a half cups or something like that. Uh, doesn't really matter. You'll find with this recipe, it's real easy. And I hope that's one reason I certainly hope you'll try. It's not only easy, but it's good. And you can make it almost with your eyes closed. 
All right, so you get the idea as far as taking this off. Now, I have already gone ahead and taken these strawberries, and I have done just this, and then all I did was to take them and cut them. And I will tell you, and this is just because I have grandkids, and they play games about this, but I've cut some in a triangle, some I've cut in a circle, those kind of things. That's just because I have young grandsons. But anyway, and then sometimes I will leave a whole strawberry in there, and whoever gets the whole strawberry gets some sort of extra treat. Now, that's just if you're a grandmother or a mom or something, <laughs> and you want to make this child friendly. Now, after you have put the strawberries together, I, uh, whatever, well, this size of, what is that, a pound of strawberries? Yes, in a pound of strawberries, I would put a half a cup of sugar and just sprinkle it over. And what that will do is to draw out the juice. Okay, okay. and you see are. how juicy? Because you're gonna want the juice, okay. okay? Now then, all you do from there is, this is the size that will make it. And what we have in here is one stick of butter, okay. okay? It looks a little different because, but it is, trust me, it's a stick of butter. Okay, and then I'm gonna melt it. Lauren, that crazy microwave over there, let me come over here and get okay. my microwave open. All right, I'm gonna ask her if she would just melt this for us. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna get the other ingredients out, okay? We here. want one cup of flour. It doesn't have to be sifted, it doesn't have to be special, okay. it's just a cup of flour. Okay. And then we are going to use a cup of sugar. Easy to remember because it's one, one, one pretty much. Okay. Then we're going to use salt and I'm going to go ahead and do it now because it takes about um, a teaspoon, maybe a half a teaspoon, depends on your tolerance there. And I'm just going to put it in the flour so that we can move on. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're going to put two teaspoons. Oh, where is my teaspoon? Oh, let's see. This is the one. Oh, that oh yeah, that's, yeah that's it. I do like these because you can get it just as smooth as you can. All right, so we're going to put two teaspoons of baking powder. And this is what's going to make our little thing run. Okay? okay. Uh, and I'm just putting it on top mainly to save time. Uh, I hope that's not hot. No, that's okay. fine. Okay? That's Melted hot. butter. What's in here? Flour, baking powder, and salt. Dump. So you don't have to get any other dishes? Nope. Just very, very that. easy. I wish we had time for peach probably to see. Now we're going to put one cup of sugar. Okay. And now all we're going to do is to mix it. And it doesn't have to be mixed well. You know, please don't think that you're, oh goodness, if there are lumps, that's even better. So don't spend a lot of effort or time doing it. Just mix it up. You do want to incorporate as much of the butter in it as you possibly can. Now, I, I will say, if you are concerned about the sugar content, there is a brand of sugar that you can bake with, fake sugar, <laughs> and I use it a lot, to tell you the truth. Okay, all right, so we have that done. All right, now we're going to add, and this you can already guess, one cup of milk. So it's a cup of sugar, a cup of flour, a cup of milk, and then I've got to remember the other stuff. Oh, uh, one, yeah, teaspoon of salt, salt and two, two teaspoons, teaspoons of baking, baking powder. Soda. Baking powder. powder. Sorry, powder. sour baking powder. Okay. <laughs> and honestly, you don't have to mix this much, just a little bit. Okay. And now we'll put our strawberries in. And for one stick of butter, I usually like to put about two cups of fruit. And there again, that's very relative. You can put as much or as little as you want. And let's see. you're not gonna mix this. Be sure you don't mix it. 
and let's put some juice the juice that has accumulated after sitting for a few minutes okay and you now have a cobbler pie that's that's, that's it. it it is all done in one pan you don't even have to grease the pan that. it's amazing okay i'm going to put it in the other thing okay. i'm in the other thing well we're I'm in the, that one's pretty uh -huh. hot and you want to cook it look at this y'all at 350 degrees okay. and your oven will change somewhat but we discovered it takes about 25 30 minutes didn't it yeah that one's tall i forgot you're shorter That's I know. Have to, i'm so sorry that's okay and you can just set it right on they won't okay. even try to crank it right, so fine. here is our peach cobbler Yum. and in place of the peach cobbler we are going to put Strawberry cobbler. Oh, my family is going to be so happy when they get home from school today. <laughs> Word. All right. And that's it. I love it. And then here is our peach cobbler. Oh gosh. And you can let it sit for a few minutes. Or you can go ahead, let's take it some out. And I think Laurie has <laughs> some typing cream. for it. Yes. No. Being the photographer and the... I know, you have not show any more hands. <laughs> all right, so here's the way it looks. You see all that ooey gooey oh stuff? Oh, my gosh. And so the peaches. Oh, y'all, look at it just coming right off. Oh, my gosh, Margarine, it looks amazing. Mm -hmm. And you have to tell them where you sold, where you served this. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was telling Roy that it's not really probably some would say a cobbler it's a country cobbler but when I had my restaurant I always called it a, a cobbler and I can honestly tell you that I never had a single person comment that it was not a cobbler so yeah but we would make this it's a restaurant in the big hotel pans and we might make sit they usually serve about 25 people at a time and we might make six a day or something wow. like that. But you could make them right at the last minute because it just doesn't take any time. That's amazing. So what I'm hoping is that all of you go out and make the cobbler and surprise somebody. Oh my goodness. And let's go look at this, y'all. Oh my word. And there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna put this camera back up here and I'm totally, Margaret Ann or I are gonna have to try this. It looks so good, what do y'all think? Doesn't that look amazing? Yeah, y'all. So he said they'll bring over the vanilla ice cream. Y'all come on over. We will take the vanilla ice cream. And oh my good. Oh, sorry. There's a big old picture of my hand. Let's see. This is the hardest part is trying it out. Oh, wow. Don't you. forget, guys, if y'all click that link, you can get her biscuits and gravy recipe too, which has become a fast. I have heard so many people say they never made biscuits and gravy before. I have to try it, y'all. Oh, is, yes. I want you to. This see is how. my favorite part of my job. And I have to admit it smells good. Oh, it? it smells amazing. Yeah. Oh, y'all. And I have to, I've, as y'all, some of y'all know, I have not been doing a whole lot of flour or sugar, but I'm totally just doing flour and sugar <laughs> I didn't mean this morning. To tempt her, she tempted me, and so it's totally. And if you look, we can see the steam coming off. Can y'all so. see? Can y'all just see this gloriousness right there? Oh, my word. Here, I need you to see it with ice cream. Oh, that light's going to make it bad. Okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't, my husband's going to be so happy with that. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, my goodness. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Oh my gosh, you have to go. I cannot believe how good that is. And how easy it is. And it was all just in one? One, just about a cup of everything that's major. So the berries or whatever, and this goes, but you can't even do plums. I had a friend of mine just say that her grandmother always made plum cobbler. And I thought, well, I've not done that, but that would be great. Uh, you know, mango, cut it up. Could you do it with blackberries? Because you know I told you. Oh, I absolutely. For, I have a thing Black for blackberry cobbler. And blueberries. And you can do a mixture of stuff. And there's nothing wrong with using the can. Because I guarantee you, once you get it mixed up here, those peaches taste real good. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm, I'm telling myself, I don't think I've had flour or sugar in about a month and so yeah, that, that helps it. make it so better too. i'm telling you what y'all this is divine i'm telling myself that if y'all are watching it's totally not counting so whatever it's 
Amazing. I see you sharing. You I'm know. sharing. This is helping y'all. So uh, we're going to go through and answer any questions that y'all have. Somebody said, can you add, add apples? Could you do apples and strawberries? Ab absolutely. The only thing about apples is they don't give juice quite as well. Okay. So if you're going to make an apple cobbler, all you want to do is to put the, after you have melted the butter, put your thinly sliced, uh, put a layer of thinly sliced apples then sprinkle it with some additional cinnamon and sugar that you've mixed together and put you a couple of two or three things. Okay. And then the other stuff that you've got here, the flour and all that sort of stuff, you can just put on top and it will seat down. Okay. But it's not as juicy, you know. Yeah, that's, well, let's, some people are asking for the recipe. So we'll read over the recipe one more time and ask what size dish so that y'all have it. And we will post this. We'll get it all written up and I'll take a picture of it. Um, and we'll get a post for it so y'all can see it. But go ahead and tell them one more time the ingredients. So okay. we've got it down. Grab right, your pencils, me. ladies. Get your pencils okay. out and your paper. Here she goes. All right. A uh, stick of butter. Melted. Okay. Okay. And then into that you dump one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, uh, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder okay. in the can, not the other one, and then you're going to just roughly mix that together. It's no big deal. Lumps are fine. And then you're going to add one cup of milk. Okay. Stir. Okay. Okay. And once you've got it stirred again, do not worry about making it smooth. But after you stir it, then you put your fruit in. And you want two, about two cups of fruit and about a cup of juice or whatever you happen to have. Okay. And that's it. That's amazing. Okay, let's see. I've got a couple questions. Or somebody said that they that they tried your biscuits and gravy and they're the best they've ever tasted. Oh, hands down. Oh, I love so thank that. you. Thank you for trying. I really appreciate that comment. Melinda, that makes us so happy. And Andy says she he uh, I think it's Andy says they're from um, Carrollton, Georgia. Oh, right down yes. the road from Rome. So. I went to West Georgia for my master's degree, so I'm real familiar. Yes. I did a lot of traveling from Rome to Carrollton. Okay. That's funny. And they said what size dish, which we were thinking is it like a six six by eight or twelve? Maybe. It is a smaller dish. It's and we don't, I wonder if you could do you know could what you those are? Let's see, I don't know. I'm, well, I'm here. thinking. Look here, I've got a tape measure right here. Oh, wow. You. I said that. My kids, oh, we're going to measure the dish. Now, this is. Okay. We were. Yeah. Bye. Ah, if I okay. can get it. Seven by nine? Seven by Seven nine. Seven by nine. So you could double it pretty easily. Oh, easily. And doing Very it like a nine easy. by 13 yeah. would be kind of, if easy, you don't have easy, a smaller easy. size. Yeah. And the temperature was 350 50. for about 20 to 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. right. But honestly, you, I mean, when we did uh, in hotel pans, that would serve 25 we just kept doubling and doubling and doubling so there is no end as to how many times you can put it together yeah you know don't worry about it okay this is what i call easy 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 i couldn't get over it really when she did it all in one dish i was just amazed at how simple it was so y'all go ahead and make sure to grab her biscuits and gravy recipe i think you can on the link that is there um you can print the recipe and we'll do the same thing with this one we'll put it together into a list link where y'all can print it as well because her recipes are so good. My kids get so happy when they know she's coming because they know something yummy is coming at the end of the day. So we're excited to make something right. yummy. And y'all know, let us know. I, we're trying to figure out maybe if we'll do this once a month or how often. So if you have a recipe that you would just love us to make, tell us, well, love her to make because I'm really not a cook. I just read recipes. But she's a cook. But tell us but which she's one. working on not reading. I mean, I just guess. doing simple stuff. Yes, you know? I learned to make, we, she taught me how to make omelets and I've now made omelets three days this week for my daughter. So and if anyone can teach you to cook, it is Margaret Ann, which she just gives you some encouragement that she can get it done. So yeah, let us know for sure your questions and your ideas on other stuff and we will see you guys. Oh, cornbread. Somebody said cornbread. Now oh, we have to okay. Read. All right. We'll yeah. that. We'll eat cornbread. Love. Have you ever heard of crackling cornbread? What's that? Oh, well, that's a southern thing, <laughs> okay. too. Uh, crackling cornbread.